it's Friday, and of course I can only one thing. It's time to delve inside the fridge and come and scrap beers, pick one out, see what I think about it. And today we have this one. Tusker's finest quality lager from, uh, well, Kenya. It's, uh, it's quite a popular beverage over in Kenya. 700,000 hectolitres sold every year. 4.2%. Let's get it cracked open and see what we think. I don't know what to think. Don't know. Let's look at the cracked open, guys. Cheers. Bit of a hiss. Oh. It smells nice and diacetally. <laughs> Gotta pour it out. <laughs> so, as always, fellas, I'd like to thank our channel sponsors, Busy or Dakota UK, the biggest online beer store in the UK, and the solution is vast. Covering the globe, so go and check them out. Very, very pale. Very, very pale straw colour. It's formed. It's formed a head, but it seems like one of them heads that's just gonna dissipate very quickly. The carbonation is rolling up the glass, it's crystal clear, it's giving an aroma. Let's see what I think. There's definitely some diacetyl going on it, but um, I'm picking up a bit of a biscuity malt character. It almost smells estery, like a like a Belgian or something like that. Slightly, very very slightly. That sort of hinting towards that. Well, let's give it a taste, fellas. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. You know what? It ain't super clean. But, the flavors on it aren't bad at all. It doesn't taste like a run of the mill lager, like a generic lager. It doesn't taste like that. There's a bit more to it. It's got quite a good mouthfeel to it. It's not it's not light and it's not not heavy, but it's not it's not light. You're getting the malts there, they're getting a, a nice sort of biscuity malt, but there are sort of esters that are running through it. Which point towards headed into like a almost like a Hefeweizen sort of um, profile just picking up the very very slightest sort of hint of that almost you know like heading towards that but there is this strange strange flavor and it's like a, a warming plastic if you got plastic and like heated it up so it started to melt a little bit. The aroma that you get from that is sort of what you're getting in the taste slightly. It's just coming in at the back end and I don't know what it is. But I don't like that. Yeah, it's a funny one. It's not unpleasant. But it's definitely uh, switching it up from the everyday lager. <laughs> it's a strange one. Mm. And there ain't a lot more to say about it. Bitterness is non-existent. Good mouthfeel, but at the back end, sort of washes out to nothing. That sort of melty plastic hint of a, a flavour is, is definitely there at the back end. But I'd say it's heading in the direction of like a Hefeweizen or something like that. Having said that, it's not unpleasant by any stretch of the imagination. It probably isn't something that you thought you were going to get, but you'd sit and drink it anyway. Don't take my word for it, though. Make up your own goddamn mind. Go and pick one up and see what you what you think. Tusker's finest quality lager. <laughs> so as always, fellas, I'll have a link directly to this beer at Beers Europe to go to UK, as well as a link to the main shop. Go prove their stock. It's vast, and that is it. So as always, guys, don't forget to thumb this video because you don't want to do. Don't forget to subscribe. There's a little red button down here that says subscribe. Click it. You won't miss out. It's coming up next. Share the video. Get it out there for all to see. And until next time, I'm out of here.